truing up a, a, a Jacobs truck to uh, to hold this little taper that'll go in my tail vise and I'll have a chuck that spins. Uh, but I have to set it up in the, in the three jaw perfectly centered. Now I use a dial and then what I do is I make I make a cut around and you can see just right right there that it stops cutting from there and then it starts cutting again and you can see my second cut right there comes all the way around and how you correct that is you can actually see where I've smacked on it right there see those little dots I actually take a wrench and I tap on the part that's not cutting and that trues it up to within a tenth of a thou and that's just on a woodworking lathe anyway a little trick about accuracy here okay so I've bored it to fit the uh, fit this with a little boring attachment here and uh, there you go Look at that. Okay. It's running pretty true. I, I, I'll put a dial on it, but uh, I think I'll cut back a little bit on that, and I'll have now a chuck for uh, for the tailstock. So I'll probably remove a. I'll probably remove a little bit of that, put a flat on that for the grub screw, and uh, that's it. Okay, well, there's the finished piece. Um, the, the outside can be held in the three-jaw chuck this way, so we can hold work in that, and I can just take work. Or sometimes you just need to hold the end of something. And because the RS lathe has an offset, I can actually do offset cam turnings with a four jaw chuck. And this chuck, because now I have a chuck that spins. Look at that. That's lovely. Just lovely. Anyway, pretty simple. Uh, it's a Jacobs chuck uh, that lying around, you know. It's always nice to make little features. <laughs>